Finally get to paint my bedroom today and I'm so excited about it. To give you some context, I've just moved home to my mom's place. I have my own bedroom and I get to paint it and organize it and style it however I want. And I'm so excited to finally have my own space again. I have two paint colors to choose from. Both are beautiful greens because green is my favorite color. But the issue I'm now having is trying to decide if I want to go with a dark feature wall or pick a third lighter option and just do the entire room in one color. This is my Pinterest board for this particular project I started by adding a lot more brighter images some of them are not even of a bedroom like this one I just really like the wooden piece of furniture with the colorful artwork here and I want to add a little bit more color into my space and then as I scroll up I have a lot of images with you know a dark green wall or that green kind of vibe I feel like this is just a little bit too neutral and I want to find a way to have it be green but then add just maybe a little bit of color in some artwork or even in cushions and things like that. I'll have this linked down below. I also actually have a couple of bedside table inspiration ideas because I think I want to paint my bedside table black but that's another project for another day. Spent the last couple of months dancing around not wanting to say that I regret my choices this year because I didn't want to seem ungrateful or not aware of all of the really good things to come out of 2023 but I'm just gonna go out and say it. I regret not having my own space and just like traveling around and seeing where life takes me. I miss having my own space so much and it's just left me feeling really uninspired over the last couple of months and it's been really hard to make YouTube videos. I'm excited that I get to do this again and I'm hoping that in the next couple of weeks as I find my groove with my space, like all that like energy, like good energy comes back again and I get back into the swing of it. The wall that I wanted to paint is the wall behind my bed. Uh, as you can see, half of everything I own is green. So this is just very fitting but I do need to move the furniture out of the way. I kept a box of clothes of things that I just didn't care if I got paint on them or they got dirty. I just find everything gets so dirty here like whenever I'm outside. You know I have a bunch of old skinny jeans. These I don't care if I get paint on I don't think. They probably don't even fit to be honest. This shirt maybe I should wear this shirt although it's not long sleeve but this would make a great paint smock you know. Does this work? I don't particularly see myself wearing this in any capacity, mostly because it's too sheer. And I know that whatever I would wear underneath it, you would see it. And that kind of annoys me about white things. So I don't see myself ever wearing this. So this is gonna become my paint shirt and then my leggings. But I do think I have an old pair of leggings in there that I may wear, but I have one little paint smock to wear. Also, please excuse the mess in here. It is, ugh, it's a lot and I'm just gonna deal with it later. Yes, I'm standing on my desk chair and yes, you're basically on the roof right now. It's a better view from up there. I had a couple people ask me why I didn't paint before I moved the bed in because I was so desperate to have a room and a place to work from that I just had to move in here before I painted anything. So I guess now in the next couple of days, it's all gonna be thrown out. But all I have to do is move the bedside table in the bed, which is not particularly difficult. Space is now free for me to paint. There are a few bits that I do need to just patch up a little bit. I don't know how that happened, but it happened and I have to fix it. There's also a few of these spots. Again, I don't know how they appeared, but I do need to patch those up and sand them back as well before we paint. So I'll do that this afternoon. I guess this is the first color we're going with and we're gonna test it. It's really pretty. We have color number one on the wall. It's a lot darker on the wall than what it is in the pot. I love this color. I think it is so pretty, but it is really dark and I don't think I could do the whole room in this. I just want to step back a little bit so you can see it. It's really, really pretty, but I don't know. I think it might be too dark. I think I'm gonna go with the third option, honestly.
I don't know if I like either of them. Like, they're both very, very pretty. I think if I had to pick one, I prefer the tone of this one. I like that it's a little more olive, a little more grey. The other one is very green. But I feel like I want to go with a lighter colour for the whole room now instead of just one dark wall. Why do I do this to myself? I've pulled out all of my swatches. This is the colour that's on the left, which is in that can right there. This middle colour is on the right in that pot there. And then this color here looks really ugly, but I just had like a voice note conversation with Rachel because she just painted her apartment and she used Dulux. And it's funny because I was telling her about how I saw the kitchen in the catalog in this moorland green. And when I saw it in the catalog, I was like, oh my God, that's so pretty. And then when I saw it on this swatch, I was like, it's so ugly. And she said the same thing. She said she had the exact same thought. And then once she started painting, she realized that these swatches are not exactly the most accurate. So now I'm considering getting this one because I really liked it in the kitchen. Enough with the paint. I need to do a little bit of patching. I have this thing that you can use to fill in large cracks and stuff. There's a little scraper on the back and then I have a block and some sandpaper to sand it afterwards. So let's give this a go. Mum and I have to head out this afternoon and you know, the more that I think about it, the more I'm leaning towards just doing the whole room in this kind of color. So it adds like a little color, but it's not too intense. It's still pretty gray, pretty neutral. It looks really, really ugly, but I think it might work well. Everyone says that this color is the nicer one of the two. And I do agree. I think it's a really nice color. The only thing that I'm a bit uncertain with is I've had this thought for a while now. I've always sort of imagined that whenever I go to decorate a nursery one Day, I would do it dinosaur themed and maybe it's because this color is called dinosaur but all I can think of is a green dinosaur egg with like white spots on it and because of that it feels a little like childlike and I'm not sure that I could do a whole room in it I think it's too dark to do a whole room I'm thinking about picking something maybe a little bit lighter and just doing the whole room so I'm gonna get another sample this afternoon and hopefully it'll be the one and then I don't have to pick anymore because I'm this is getting out of hand I really just need to make a decision I have a new Color. It's the next morning, last night or yesterday afternoon, mom and I went into town and we ran some errands, we did some groceries, I got a new paint color, I also went to Kmart and I picked up a new rug. I decided to go with one from Kmart because the prices are a lot less than other places and I didn't have to pay for delivery and I'm trying to do this as cheap as possible really so I figured Kmart would just be the best option but I'm not going to put it out until I finish painting the walls so that's many many days away however long this takes me. Anyway, these are the two colors from yesterday. The new color is in here. There's a swatch right behind my head on the wall. I did it late last night because I just needed to see it. This is the one. And for two reasons. One, I do really like it. And two, I can't keep buying samples. I just need to pick something. I can't do this forever. So it is lighter. It's a little more neutral. And I just think it's going to be great to do the whole room. So to reveal and move my head out of the way, this is it here. It's still like in the same kind of colors, but it's much lighter. I want to paint a bigger patch here right now just so that I can compare it to the size of these ones. But I think I think this is the color. It just seems perfect to me. As usual, paint always goes on a lot lighter than what it dries. I do think if it were to dry as light as it is going on, it would be perfect, but whatever, it's close enough. Here's all three of them together. I do think it's the best option for the whole room. It does look very, very gray here. I think it's gonna depend on the lighting and just the camera and whatnot. It looks a lot more green in person. I really like it, so I'm gonna go with it. I tried painting a little bit up here at the bottom of the windowsill. I have seen that guy that's a professional painter and I am not professional, but he, does an incredible job at just painting without using tape. So that's my plan. I'm gonna try and paint without tape. And so far, I think I've done a really good job. But if I am really bad at it, I will have to get some tape and tape up the wall. But that's the plan. I'm just gonna do around the window and around the skirting board and just get this wall started. I also forgot I need to sand off these patches here and smooth them out. So I might do a little more painting of the window and then I will sand off those patches. It 
it's looking really good. I've actually been able to cheat a little bit because there's kind of a gap, so that's made things really easy, but I'm not too bad at it. It's pretty neat so far. I'm gonna continue around the rest of the window. out of a job like it's not perfect but also whoever built this house did a really really bad job at like the corners so it's kind of not my fault that it's so bad I don't know if I really need to get painters tape like it's not too bad right okay so I accidentally got a little smudge up on the skirting board but for someone who's never freehand painted an edge before not bad really it's not that bad I'm not sure if I should get painters tape because the ceiling I've already been done and I need to repaint over that little bit but like I'm pretty impressed I don't know if getting painters tape would just add an extra step and that it wouldn't even be that much more different than what it already is I'm also up to the point where I need to sand off those pieces so I'm gonna do that now <laughs> some painters tape in the garage. I also found a small or medium sized roller and a tray to be able to do the middle of the wall. I have done a pretty all right job so far with the edges, but I just wanna use the tape because I feel like it's just a lot easier and it makes it a bit more <laughs> safe. Like I'm not perfect, you know? I have a fresh roller and I also washed out this old tray that was a little dusty. I am gonna pour this in. This is how much I have used to do all of the edges. So I think I'm probably gonna need about half a liter or maybe just under for a wall or at least, yeah, I'd say half a liter per wall. Need to scrape that off. have a little helper today although I don't know that it's much help it's just snoozing in here good morning we're up to day three of my bedroom makeover I am gonna do the second coat today still can't decide if I should do two coats or I should do three and then I also have to do the windowsill which the paint for that is already in the shed What are you doing? Huh? Been here all day. Just hanging out. I know you're in a playful mood right now. Maybe. Maybe we can play, but it's definitely not time for dinner yet. I have been making some progress. I've managed to do the corner of this room as well. I could have unscrewed the power outlet and taken it off completely, but instead I just removed the face plate and then taped up the thing underneath it. So when this goes on, it'll, it'll be fine. And then I started peeling back the tape. Apparently you can remove tape once it's dry to the touch. And so I've done two coats. I've decided two coats is more than enough. And now this is the most satisfying part but honestly even though this is a really sharp line for the most of it there's still a few pieces that it creeped underneath and my freehand is not too far off it so I'm pretty pleased with myself. I did freehand around the window. I'm not gonna tape the window except for the metal part when I paint the window still white. But yeah so satisfying.
We found the big pot of white paint that's for the door and the trims. And as you can see, there's hardly any used in it. And the tin is old, like it started to rust. And I think that's because the only trim that's actually been done are in the bathroom. So there's still a lot for me to do in this house. I think once I've done the bedroom, I may move on to the other rooms, but I've put a little bit into this small container and I'm now going to do the baseboard and the windowsill. I'm gonna start with the windowsill and then I do have to tape the floor for the baseboard, but that's gonna be the last thing that I end up doing today. I'm starting to think you're supposed to do the trim before you do the main wall. All this white here is because I tried to do it without the tape. And then once I did it with the tape, you can see that parts of it kind of started to drip down. So I will have to go back over it with the green, which is fine. I feel like the tape will be better on the sides and the top, but for the bottom, did not quite work. I think it's time to call it for the day. For the rest of the evening, all I'm gonna do is finish painting the windowsill and the skirting board on that one wall. Fingers crossed it won't give me any more trouble than what it already has, but it's it's getting late into the evening. I'm really sorry that this entire video has just been painting. It wasn't supposed to be like this. There was supposed to be more of a bedroom transformation, but I didn't realize how long it would take me just to figure out paint colors and to start painting. My next video about my bedroom will definitely have more of that transformation. So I'm really sorry because it's kind of boring. But to finish up this video on a non paint related topic, I have my new rug. And now that I'm kind of looking at it in the viewfinder, it looks a little boring, a little bit new neutral. So this is from Kmart. I don't know if you can see this. I'm just here. It's pretty, but I don't know if it's too neutral. It might be okay once the whole room is green. I mean, looking at it with how white the room is, it feels like a bit too much, but there's a little bit of red and a little bit of blue in it. We'll just have to see how it goes once I finish painting in a few days. Hopefully it only takes me a few days. I'm really excited that I have a rug. If not, I will have to keep searching for the right one, which Took me about a week and a half to decide on that one and I really don't want it to take another week and a half to come up with another one. So anyway, I am really sorry that this video was just paint and it's kind of boring, but I assure you the next one's gonna be so much more interesting. I actually think I wanna do a bedside table DIY. I wanna get knobs for it, change the color. Like, oh, there's so much stuff I wanna do. And then once I do all of that major painting stuff and some of the decor stuff, I can start organizing, which I'm really excited about. So anyway, I'm gonna go and keep painting. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in my next video.